Lutein and zeaxanthin are two plant pigments which have many health benefits. You must be noticing that beautiful yellow or orange colors some of the foods have such as capsicums or even marigold flowers have those and uh, lutein and zeaxanthin together are found to be very beneficial for as many as eight different uses in eye health and they also have excellent antioxidant properties. However, what is the amount you should take on a daily basis? What are the best food sources? Is there anything you need to watch while consuming them? And if you have to take in a supplement manner, how much amount you should take? What should you look for in a supplement? We're going to cover. Plus, finally, I'll also tell you what are the toxic levels of uh, lutein and zeaxanthin that you should avoid taking. So let's roll. To start with, there are no recommended dietary allowance amounts of lutein and zeaxanthin on a daily basis. However, experts advise between 6 milligrams to 12 milligrams of lutein and zeaxanthin together. The reason for taking them together is because they have very similar chemical structures and similar properties and similar benefits. Plus, they are very interchangeable in our body. So, it doesn't matter which one you take, the other one body ends up getting anyway, but you have separate names for them. If you want to take lutein from foods, uh, take about a cup or about 75-80 grams of spinach, kale, collards, turnips on a daily basis. Now, obviously, you can. it's a good idea to rotate them, but technically, that's the amount you need and you will get about 10 to 12 grams, 10 to 12 milligrams of lutein on a daily basis if you consume that much. Now one very important thing, lutein as a pigment is very strongly bound inside these plant materials. So it's not going to be easy to absorb for your body. So what you should do is chop these vegetables quite well, plus you cook them. So then this pigment comes out from the fibrous mass and can be easily absorbed in the body or at least better absorbed in the body. Uh, eating some of those things, I don't think you want to eat them raw, but some people say, you know, I'll have it in a salad and lightly cook it. You may not get those benefits, especially mainly of lutein, other stuff you probably be able to get. Another thing is uh, egg yolk, you know, that nice yellow orange color, it comes from lutein and zeaxanthin. So that is an excellent source of lutein. Now, interestingly, the amount of lutein in an egg yolk is 30 to 50 times less than all these spinach and kale and all these other guys. But the absorption of lutein from egg yolk is much better in your intestine, much higher in your intestine than the plant-based source, which are these uh, uh, plants that I talked about. And so egg yolk turns out to be an excellent source of lutein if you are going to get it from food. Lutein and zeaxanthin are fat soluble compounds. So they are much better absorbed in the body if you have at least a few grams of fat while uh, consuming lutein. So in your meal, if you are going to have it through food, make sure you have at least a little bit of fat so that the absorption is much better. If you are going to take lutein through supplements, like some people cannot have so much of vegetables on a regular basis or on a consistent basis or they may not like to cook them so much, whatever, or they may want more control over the amount they consume, uh, you look for lutein and zeaxanthin supplements. Usually they have about 5 milligrams of lutein and 1 milligram of zeaxanthin. So if you want to take 10 to 12 a day, 10 to 12 milligrams a day, you want to have two of them. So have one in the morning, one in the evening and preferably with something fatty. So generally we advise people to have it with foods. What are the toxic levels of lutein? Uh, experts advise not to exceed about 20 milligrams a day. However, much higher dosage, much higher amounts than this also have been found not to cause any side effects. So Keep, take it in the right way. Stay below 20 milligrams, but if you end up one day having 21 milligrams, don't panic. You are not going to die. Oh, I'll die now. That's not going to happen. But try to stay below 20 milligrams a day on a consistent basis. 
Now, you don't need to remember all these. What I've done is I have given a link to an article I've written on this uh, in the description below. And you can find all that information. Plus, it will also tell you about uh, lutein's actual usages in the eye health or as an antioxidant. And if you want to know more through a video, here are uh, some more videos on this topic that you can check. Thank you.